Hey guys, welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. Today we are going to start a new series of videos on Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is a collaboration platform. Microsoft Teams is designed to facilitate communication and collaboration among individuals and teams within the organizations. Whether your users work from office or remotely, they can collaborate with each other through Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is included with most of the Office 365 or Microsoft 365 licenses. Let's talk about some of the key features of Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams provide a feature called chat. Microsoft Teams allow users to have one on one or group chat conversations. These conversations can include text messages, emojis, GIFs and even file attachments. Microsoft Teams include a built in video conferencing feature that allows users to hold virtual meetings with colleagues and clients. It supports audio and video calls, screen sharing and the ability to schedule and record meetings. Microsoft Teams can be organized in different channels, which act as a dedicated space for specific projects or departments. Channels help users to keep the conversations and files organized. Users can upload, share and collaborate on documents and files directly within Teams. It integrates with Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel and PowerPoint for real-time co-authoring. Microsoft Teams integrates with a wide range of third party applications and services. This allows users to bring in external tools and data to their Teams environment. Microsoft Teams includes security and compliance features to help organizations to protect their data and meet regulatory requirements. Microsoft Teams is available as a mobile application for iOS and Android devices. Users can install Microsoft Teams application on their mobile devices and they can collaborate with others anytime and from anywhere. You can use Microsoft Teams application in computer or in mobile. Microsoft Teams application comes in two versions, desktop version and web version. Once your administrator has assigned a supported license to your account that has Teams service included, you can log into Teams application. If you want to access Teams web version, you will go to a browser. You will go to portal.office.com. And here you will log in with your account that has Microsoft Teams license assigned. So once you are logged in, you will click Teams on the left where you can see all the icons. Click Teams. So this is the web version of Microsoft Teams. If you want to use Teams desktop application, then you need to download the application in your computer first and then you need to install it. To download Microsoft Teams, you will go to browser. And here you will type download Teams for Windows and click on this link. And click download app for desktop. And under Teams for work or school, click download new Teams app. And as per the operating system version 64 bit or 32 bit, you can download the application from here. I have already installed Teams on my computer. This is the desktop version of Microsoft Teams. So let's explore Microsoft Teams application. At the top, you see a search box. Here you can look for the users inside or outside your organization. You can look for messages, files, for example, if I want to communicate with another user, I will type his name here. And I'll click on the name of the user and then I can chat with that user. I can send a message as of now. I can see this user is offline from here. You can see the presence of the user, whether the user is available, he is busy, he is offline or he is out of office. But still, I can start a chat with this user. I can send a message to this user and as soon as this team user will be available in teams he will be able to see the message you can also use some formatting options to format your message you can send files on chat you can share emojis gifs and you can use other formatting options next is activity under activity you can see the messages on which you are tagged that means when you send a message to someone by tagging him for example in a group when you send a message like at, then you type the username. And like this, when you send a message, the other person, the team user will receive a notification under activity that someone has tagged you. 
Similarly, if someone has tagged you in a message, you will see that activity here in your team's application. Or let's say you typed a message to someone and that person liked your message, then also you will get that notification under activity tab. Next is chat. Under chat, you can see the current or previous chats. If you are doing chat with individual or in a group, you will see all the chats here. Also, if you were part of a Teams meeting and someone shared a message in that meeting, you will see all those messages under chat option. If you want to send a message to someone or you want to communicate with a user through chat, either you can search the user from here or under suggested, you will see the list of the users of your organization. You can click on any user with whom you want to communicate and you can simply send a message to that user. Next is Teams. A team is a group of people that are working together on a particular task. For example, a project, a team can be a department like HR or IT. If a group of people are working together on a project, they want that every member of that project should have real time updates or all of them should be able to communicate with each other real time. So this is the purpose of creating a team. You can create three types of teams, private team, public team and org wide team or organization wide team. If you want to create a team, click teams tab and then click plus and then click join team. From here, you will click create a new team. If you're going to create a new team altogether, you will click from scratch and from here you will select if you want to create a private team or a public team. Now here you will see only two types of teams private and public. If you are a user, you can create only private team or public team. But if you are a global administrator, you are logged into Microsoft Teams as global administrator account or teams administrator account. You can create org wide team as well. So here I'm logged in. To portal.office.com with one of the global administrator. You can see I have admin access here, so I'll go to teams. This is the web version of Microsoft Teams. So let's go to Teams and let's try to create a new team. So here you can see three options, private, public, org wide. Now there's a difference between private team, public team and org wide team. Private teams are permission based teams. That means the users can join a private team only when the owner of that team adds him as a member or a member of that team invites that user to join the team. This will send a request to the owner of that team. Owner will approve the request and once approved, user can join the team. So in nutshell, a user cannot join a private team. Either owner of the team can add him in the private team or a member of the team can send a request to the owner. Owner will approve the request and then user can join the private team. And once the user will join the team, he will have access to all the information of that team. For example, conversations, folders, files and SharePoint sites. Whereas a public team is open for everyone within the organization. Everyone can see a public team and they can join the public team as well. They do not need approval from the owner of the team. And when a user will join a public team, he will have access to conversations, files, folders, all the data that is stored in that team. And the third type of team is org wide team. Org wide team or organization wide team includes all the users of your tenant as a member. That means all of the users of your tenant will be added automatically in org wide team. And if you create a new user in your tenant, that user will also become part of org wide team. And when a global admin creates an org wide team, all the global administrators and the teams administrators of the tenant are added as owner of that team. So when we create org wide team, all the global administrators and team administrators are automatically added as owner and all the users are added as members of that team. If we talk about the background process, when you create a team, it creates a Microsoft 365 group in Exchange Online with the same name that you use in team. It also creates a SharePoint site and document library where teams data is stored. And when you create a team, a shared mailbox and a calendar is also created. For your information, teams files are stored in SharePoint Online and teams chat files are stored in OneDrive for Business. 
voicemail calendar and contacts are stored in exchange online there are multiple ways to create a team if you want to create a new team altogether like we are discussing for this end user from here you can select private or public let's say i want to create a private team under here under team name you will give a name for this team for example test one you can add description if you want this is optional and click create under add members to test one team we can add the users from here you can type the name of the user let's add one more and you can see this user will be added as member however if i want i can change him as owner as well so bob ross will become owner of this team and team user will be added as member click add and that's it we have created a team with name test one there is another way to create a team where you can create a clone of another team for example if you are owner of a team and you want to create a new team using all the settings and data of an existing team you will go to teams section click plus click join team click create a new team and from here you will select from another team so here we can see two teams test one and test 365 group if you are owner of a team you will see that team here else you will not see any team here if you are not owner of that particular team so let's assume i want to create a new team copying all the data of this team so i'll select this team test one and here we can see the name is taken as default test one copy but i want to give it another name let's say test two let's leave description empty and by default this test one team is private so automatically it is selected as private but we can change the privacy of this team to public and next here you can see channels will be copied from test one team we will talk about channels later tabs will be copied team settings will be copied to this team apps and if you want you can copy the members as well so whatever members are added in test one team will be copied to this team test two click create now if you want you can add more members or owners in this team or you can skip this option so this is how you can create a team from an existing team and copy all these settings to new team here you can see test two is created if we check the membership of uh, test one team let's go to manage team we can see here one member and two owners let's go to test two manage team and we can see the bob ross and team is added and concepts is the owner of the team now let's say you have microsoft 365 group in your tenant there are few members and owners added in that group and you want to create a team using this microsoft 365 group let me show you this practically let's go to microsoft 365 admin center let's go to exchange admin center go to groups And here you can see a group test 365 group 2 this is microsoft 365 group and under team status you can see it is blank that means as of now there is no microsoft team associated with this group so the scenario is i want to create a team using this microsoft 365 group but again you need to be an owner of that group only then you can create a team from this microsoft 365 group so let's go back to team teams application and go to team section click plus join team create a new team and click from group so here you can see this group test 365 group 2 the one that i showed you here test 365 group 2 as of now team status is blank so if you want to create a team using this microsoft 365 group you will click add team so here you can see a team is created with name test 365 group 2 and if we go to manage team we can see three members one is owner and we have members as well so let's go to group 
Now let me refresh it. And now you see team status is changed to team. So now there is a team associated with this Microsoft 365 group. And let's go to properties of this group. Let's go to members. We can see three honors and four members. So here we can see three honors and four members. So all the members are copied to this Microsoft team from Microsoft 365 group. There is one more way to create a team. Instead of creating a team from scratch or using an existing team or using Microsoft 365 group, you have an option to create team using a pre-built template. Go to team section, click plus, join team, click create a new team and click from template. So by default, you will be on from template page and here you can see list of the pre-built templates. You can use any one of these templates to create a team. For example, I want to create this manage a project. I'll click on this template. Here we can see four channels will be added to this team and these applications will be added in team. So if I want to use this template, click use this template here. We can give it a name, for example, team three, add description if you want. Again, you can select the privacy. As a user, you will get only two options, private or public. Let's say I want to select public. If I want, I can customize the channels as well. If you want, you can change the name of the channels. For example, test channel and i can change name of this as well test to channel for example you can add any name as per your business requirement but you will not be able to change the name of general channel you will not be able to modify this so once you are done click done and click create so this is how you create a team using pre-built template if you want you can click close or you can wait for some time and then you can add the members in this team i'll click close and let's go back to teams and team three is created now if i want to add members i can simply add them from here go to add member and search the name of the user let's say concept and that's it we can add members so this is how you can create teams in microsoft teams application if you found this video informative please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video